Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams, Baiju's Exam Prep. And warm welcome to this very, very innovative series that is Concept Capsule Series. Today's capsule from Programming and Data Structures that is Structure versus Union. So we will have this capsule right now. Before that, this is quick introduction about me. I am Satya, research scholar with 14 plus years of teaching experience, mentored more than 30,000 students all over India. I am qualified in GATE, UGC NET, SET, also certified by Cisco. Right? Now, let us start learning this capsule. So, structure and union. What is the def uh, definition of structure or union? Guys, we know array means collection of similar data. What if I want to group dissimilar data? For that we have structure or union. So collection of dissimilar data items is called a structure or union. So when we want to group different data items, then the option we have in C language is either structure or union. So whatever you are grouping such data items in this group, we call as members of the group. And the structure variable because we are creating a group for that group we can create representation such a representation such instance we call as variable so that structure variable or union variable you can declare either along with the structure declaration or union declaration or later in the main function how we can create the keyword we use for structure is a struct, name of the structure and whatever the data items we group, we will write inside this group, data item 1, data item 2 with respective data type we create and how you create variables for the structure along with its declaration, at the end of it, here we write the list of variables. This is one way. The other way is you can inside the main function, you can write the struct name and you can create the variable later in the main function also. So struct is the word keyword for structure. Then union declaration syntax also will be same except the keyword changes to union. Right? Now, the difference between structure and union lies majorly in the memory allocation. So how much memory is allocated for a structure variable? How much is allocated for a union variable? If you observe, the memory allocated to each variable of structure is equal to sum of all its members size. So how many members are there, what is their size, all together for every variable memory is allocated for structure variable. If you take union variable, how much memory is allocated for each variable? The maximum of all its members size. Let us have an example quickly. Suppose I am creating a structure, let us say let us say student and the members I am having as char name of 10, int roll number, float percentage, 
Suppose I am creating two variables v1, v2. Okay. In the same way, I am creating union, a student union. Instead of student structure, I am creating union for the same with the same data members, same number of variables. Okay. If you take this, how much memory is allocated for V1, V2 or of structure, V1, V2 of union? Assume 32 bit processor or 16 bit processor, accordingly, int size will be dependent. Suppose if I take 32 bit processor, int size will be 4 bytes. float default 4 bytes and one character require one byte so 10 characters require 10 bytes so we have three members so each member size is given like this 10 bytes for character member 4 bytes for integer member 4 bytes for float member so structure variable v1 get sum of its members size so 10 plus 4 plus 4 18 bytes 18 bytes will be allocated for structure variables v1 and v2 but union union members maximum members space is allocated for every variable so if you take v1 of union what is max members size care member size is 10 int size 4 float size 4 so which is the max 10 so for v1 10 bytes gets allocated for v2 10 bytes gets allocated so this is the major difference between structure and union in terms of memory allocation in terms of definition declaration it is similar so here we get a doubt when 10 bytes only allocated for union variable, how you can store all the members values? That is the reason why only one member can be accessed at a time if it is of union. But structure members can be accessed simultaneously. This is how the second difference is driven. Structure members can be accessed simultaneously, but union members can be accessed only one at a time now it is definitely possible to create a structure inside the structure a union inside the structure or structure inside union or union inside union like i am writing one structure inside that structure i can have another structure as member or I can have a structure as its member you can have union also or inside union you can have structure as member similarly the other possibility a union can have another union as member and this can be nested so if we are having like this, how do you access the members? Member access is always through variable. So how do you access members of any either structure or union? Through variable. If this variable is a normal variable, we access through dot operator. If that particular variable is a pointer variable, then you access through forward arrow operator. So this is for pointer variables and dot operator is for normal variables. Okay, it is applicable for both structure union. Now, to understand in a better way, here I have 
structure inside the structure structure inside the union and all the four combinations so here if you see the first one i have one structure xyz in another structure abc so what would be the size of structure variables inner structure variables outer structure variables so for the first one if i take first example v1 what is v1 outer structure variable that is equal to sum of its members space so i am taking 32 bit processor hence every integer size would be 4 bytes so a size will be 4 bytes b size is default 4 bytes and inner structure members x y x and j are there so x size would be 40 bytes and j size would be 20 bytes right so v3 will get 40 plus 20 60 bytes v4 will get 60 bytes so v3 size would be what 60 bytes and v4 size would be 60 bytes what about v1 and v2 size sum of all the members 8 plus xyz size is what 120 bytes so 120 plus 8 so v1 will get 128 bytes v2 get 128 bytes similarly if you take the second one we have union inside the structure so union will allocate maximum of its members space so what is max in 40 20 40 so v3 get 40 bytes v4 get 40 bytes and that union will get total two variables for that union so 80 bytes and for the outer structure variables which is a structure so sum of its members a is one member b is one member x y z is n one member so 4 plus 4 8 plus 8 80 88 bytes would be allocated for every outer structure variable if you take the third combination i have structure inside the union so structure will allocate sum of its members space that is 60 bytes for v3 60 bytes for v4 so xyz will get 60 plus 60 120 bytes and union will allocate max of its members size a size 4 b size 4 xyz size 120 so union will allocate 120 bytes for v1 and 120 for v2 similarly if you see the fourth combination i have union inside another union so four bytes four bytes this size would be just now we have discussed 40 bytes for v3 40 bytes for v4 maximum so xyz size would be 80 so outer is also union so max of 4 4 80 is 80 so v1 will get 80 bytes and v2 also get 80 bytes so now you understood the difference between structure and union with these four combinations i believe so how i can access the inner members you might be worried so if i want to access v3cx so you can say v1 dot v3 dot x or v2 dot v4 dot j or v1 dot v2 v3 dot j v2 dot v4 dot x like this you can access the members okay so i hope with this the concept of structure and union is clear for you so that is what today's concept capsule i hope you enjoyed it keep watching we are coming with the many more capsules of concept for you guys so keep watching keep learning keep growing don't forget to like share and subscribe to our byju's exam prep gate channel thank you guys see you in the next concept capsule bye bye